All right, in this video, we've got a hot air balloon. Uh, it's tethered to the ground with three cables. Um, and if the balloon is pulling upwards, so that's the lift force of the hot air in the balloon, uh, we want to figure out what is the tension in each of the three cables that's anchoring um, this balloon. All right, so here we can see, I'm basically going to say you know, cable A, cable B, cable C. Uh, each one of those is connected to the ground at a set location. The origin point is right uh, beneath the hot air balloon itself. All right, so if I were to draw the free body diagram, it would more or less, I'd simply have a tension force, what I would call TA, oops, TB, and TC here. So each one of those cables has a certain tension. All right, so if I want to figure out the tension in each one of those cables, I'm going to need to uh, write out the equilibrium equations in all three directions. So I've got x is left right, y is up and down, and then z is going to be kind of into the screen or out of the screen. All right, so to do this, rather than try to figure out different angles, I'm going to use uh, the ratio method that's discussed uh, on the equilibrium page. Uh, so for the ratio method, uh, it's going to be, I need the length of each of these cables, and I need to know x, y, and z uh, components of those lengths. All right, so for the lengths of the cables, we use basically the 3D version of the Pythagorean theorem. So the length of cable A, LA, is going to be equal to uh, the square root of 20 squared plus 30 squared. All right, and if I solve that out, uh, that is going to be 36.1 feet. All right, so that's the length of cable A. Length of cable B, I do something similar. In this case, all right, cable B goes in all three directions. So it's gonna be 30 squared plus 30 squared plus 20 squared. Uh, square root of that whole thing. So 30 squared plus 30 squared plus 20 squared. All right, so if I do that calculation, I'm gonna get 46.9 feet. So cable B is a little bit longer. Uh, and then cable C, uh, so cable C, I've got 30 feet down, 20 feet out that way. So the square root of 30 squared plus 20 squared. All right, and that one also happens to be equal to 36.1 feet. All right, so now I've got the length of each of these cables. Now I need to figure out um, the components in each of the directions. So if I look at sum of forces in the x direction, all right, so cable A in the x direction, I go, uh, well, negative 20 feet in the x direction, and I divide that by the length of the cable in that direction. So it's going to be negative 20 over 36.1 times TA. So that's the X component of tension A, whatever it is. All right, so plus, uh, all right, so cable B. Um, for that one, I go 30 feet in the X direction, and I divide that by my 46.9, my length of cable B. All right, so that's the ratio that I use for TB. So plus 30 over 46.9 TB plus I got to figure out what is the X component of the tension in C. Well there is no X component of the tension in C because it's right, um, there's no X distance for that cable. Alright so there's no no component for that. Alright so this some number times TA plus some number times TB plus zero equals zero. Uh, and this simplifies down to, so negative 0 0.554 TA plus 0 0.640 TB is equal to zero. All right, so that's sum of forces in the X. I do the same thing in the Y direction, so sum of forces in the Y. All right, so cable A. 
All right, in the y direction, which is up and down, uh, I'm going down 30 feet. In fact, I'm going to be going down 30 feet for each of the different cables. So 30 feet, negative 30 feet over the length of cable A of 36.1. So negative 30 over 36.1 TA. All right, so cable B, I also go down 30. I divide by the length of cable B, that's 46.9. TB and for cable C negative 30 feet and again the length of cable C is 36.1 TC all right so plug all those in um, are equal to zero. Oh, we forgot something so in addition to the tension forces in the y direction, I also have the lift, so 900 feet, plus 900. All right, so if that is the case, uh, we can simplify this down, kind of plug in some of those numbers, so it's negative 0.831 TA minus 0 0.640 TB. Uh, minus 0 0.831 TC plus 900 is equal to zero. All right, so that's my sum of forces in the Y equation. Next, I'm going to have sum of forces in the Z. All right, so for this example, or for this direction, uh, I'm going to look at cable A. So cable A has no Z component, so it's going to be uh, more or less zero plus, all right, so cable B is in the positive Z direction, so I'm going out 20 feet that way. All right, so it's gonna be 20 over the length of cable B. So 20 over the length of cable B is 46.9. All right, so that kind of ratio times B. All right, and then cable C. All right, so cable C is going in the negative Z direction so negative 20 over the length of cable C. So negative 20, the length of cable C is 36.1, all right, times TC. All right, so that's all we have in the Z direction. So sum of forces in the Z is equal to zero. All right, so if we solve this out, we would get 0.426 times TB minus 0.544 times TC is equal to zero. All right, so I've got three equations. One there, that's my sum of forces in the X, or the Z, sum of forces in the Y, sum of forces in the X. Three equations, and my three unknowns are TA, TB, and TC. Uh, we can do algebra to solve all this. It's possible, uh, it's annoying. Uh, we could also use computer tools, so I used uh, just plugged everything into Wolfram Alpha, uh, which is on the sidebar of most of the pages in the textbook. Uh, and if we do that, solve for TA, TB, TC, I can find that TA is going to be 466.8 pounds. TB is going to be 396.8 pounds and TC is going to be 310.7 pounds. All right, so those are the three tension forces that are in the three cables holding down my hot air balloon. So TA, TB, TC corresponds to the uh, tensions in cable A, cable B, and cable C up here. So with that, that's all we have for this particular problem. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.